Rise of the Fenice, episode number two. Let's go. Step inside to the mad scientist office and my save Rise of the Fenice. We have made some progress since episode 1. I can't wait to fill you in. What you will see in this episode, we will meet the team. I have now played 6-7 matches with the team in the Serie B and I am getting familiar with the players much more. I will update you on the situation later when we will meet the team. We will also play a top of the division clash. A battle for a number one position in the league that will be the live come today. So lots of fun, lots of action. Let's get into it. As you see, for today's live com, we will play home against Pista Sestro, who are number one in the division right now. We are four teams, to be honest, at 13 points. Viton Imperium, Imperium, AC Akadencia, who is our fierce rivals. So this battle for the top positions is really going down at the moment. Let's take a look at our results since episode 1, where we lost 2-3 against Larinuccia in the opening game of the season. Since then, we won two in a row, we drew one, and we won two in a row and again. So we have to be absolutely delighted with, re with the results so far. But actually, I'm not really impressed how the way we are playing at the moment. We're getting the wins, but our key players haven't impressed so far. And for this battle of the first position in the league match, we will miss one of our players. One of our most important players so far is out with an injury. That is Filippo Alagia, our left back with 17 in crossing. He's already got four assists if I'm not if I'm not wrong. Really really important player. He will be out for some time. We will miss him but let me take you over to the team and introduce you to the guys properly. Here is the squad. It's a really tight unit. It's a small squad, we are lacking in, the, in depth, we really don't have any in the youth team who can step up so far. So injuries will be really, really problems, for, will give us a lot of problems if we get some long time injuries. Let me introduce you to the guys. In the goal we have Spinazzola. Cristiano Spinazzola, he's 31, he's in his prime, he looks really quality for the level of competition in the Cospi and Serie B. And his backup. Gabbiadini, Giacomo Gabbiadini, only 21. He looks really interesting and I will try to give him some match experience over this season. In defense we have Sirigu, the most experienced player in our team. Christian Sirigu, 30, 33 years old, really really quality for this division. He is slowing up at the moment but we will play him as far as it makes sense because he is really really quality for our team. Besides him, in the first match, in the first episode you, you, we played, we did play the young Davide Perrin, only 18 years old. He is absolutely one of our projects for this save, but he has lose, lost his position to Sasa. Fabio Sasa, he's 27. I love his pace and at the same time, he is a decent defender. He's done well and at the moment he is the starter. At left back it is still the 18 year old Claudio Rossi who you met in the first episode. He's doing alright, Batati is the backup and Batati is also out with an injury for the moment. At the midfield one of our most important players you will find Nicolo Rugani. Look at his mentals, he's a hard working midfielder, he has lots of pace, 
Uh, he's so versatile, so the problem is to find the, the, the primary position for him. At the moment, you can see I am playing him as a ball-winning midfielder defend. He can pass a ball. Passing 12, it's it's not the best. He's a, he's a hard worker. Tyler's midfielder, really important for us. And with these price tags, if you take a look at those price tags, we will be able to sell some players down the line and then gain some money we can go and build this team for. The other position in midfield has been different players. Gakiani is doing good, scored a very, very important goal for us. If I remember that goal, it was crossed in. The Gagliani goal was so important. It was against Cospire Squali, who is a really quality team in this division. And it was for the winner in the 88th minute. Alakia was running down the right flank as he's doing all season long. Getting the cross in there. Gagliani with the real with the correct run from midfield, scoring such an important goal. Gagliani is battling it out in midfield. His competition is Biagini, who we saw in the opening match. He looks fine, but not fantastic. He's 24. And also Louis, Louis Netti, Massimo Louis Netti, 22. Also, again, he looks decent, but not fantastic. So at the moment, it is Gagliani with the starter. At the right winger, Chiappa. He don't look fantastic, but he's, he scored a, a goal and assist, and he, he gets, gets the rating. But it's surely a position we need to upgrade in the future. Safari, he's been so important for us. Getting two goals, one assist. He looks interesting, 29, he's experienced, and even though his rating not shows it, he's been really important in every game, creating so many chances. Up front, we have Portolano, and I must say I'm still a little bit disappointed about Portolano. Portolano is 23 years old, and I think he looks so fantastically strong, great mentals. He's not the quickest, but he can finish and he can hit, score two goals. We are working on him, but I have been disappointed with his display in most games. Sadly, we don't have any any competition for him. But the top scorer, Santino Anone. Six games, four goals. He looks quality. He's a complete striker at the level of Serie B. He could get, he could get past the 20 plus goals over a season. And as I said, we are missing Alakia. Filippo Alakia, 30 years old, with that 17 in crossing, 15-15 pace and acceleration. It's three assists so far. He's been really important. He gets the crosses in all game long. And his injury is... Where do you see his injury? Up to three weeks. Every match we'll miss this guy will be a problem. But we do have... Sturaro who will cover for him. He's only 20 years old. I do see him mostly like a, s a central defender, but he will cover as the right back for the moment. He looks he looks interesting. Only 20 years old. He actually looks real good and he's been doing great in the match he was substituted in for Alakia, who was injured. I think it was in the first minute. But let's jump over and check out our opposition for the game of the first position in the league against Pista Sestro. The opposition team for today has been doing really great in the start of the season. Pista Sestro, who is based in the city of Ecladena. The stadium is called Pista Sestro di Ecladena. Capacity of 25,000. These are the three beautiful kits and our opposition for today. Let's jump over to the map. On the map, we will see that we have to travel across country again all the way north up to Ecladena, the northern part of this country. Hello, big boss. We're not playing away today. We're not traveling up to Ecladena where it's 30 degrees hot. It could have been nice. But big boss, we're playing at home today. We're playing at home and in Acadencia, the coldest region in the country. Just wanted to And with four teams tied at 13 points, every game means so much at the moment. At number two in the league against number one, this clash will be something. We will be hosting against Pista Sestro. The team is ready. We do miss a couple of players with injury. But let's go and give a good display of, of ourselves and hopefully get some points at, as we are playing at home. And here is the guys ready for this really really important match of the season at home against Pista Sestro. 
and I need to press play if we want to see some action and here it is the kickoff and we are this time playing in our beautiful home kit I really really it's really grown into me that kit love the colors and stuff in the first episode we flashed our third kit the, the white edition of the Fenice kit here is Pista Sestra on, on the ball as I said they've been playing great Moved the ball around Dalmonte with the finish from outside the box but Spinazzola is able to put it over for a corner kick here it comes Merici Sirigu clears the danger and nothing much happened here in the first 10 minutes especially not from our side we need to produce some chances there is Chiappa the right winger we are moving the ball around really pretty right now there we go, football ABC, Chiapa tries to find Safari, he gets clear, back to Chiapa with the finish. Right on Bracciali, Bracciali, and he will hit it up forward, now there is some action in both ends of the pitch, but nothing too serious. Sasa on the ball. Chiapa moves past a couple of guys, can he pass it, Fostorado, and we get a corner kick out of that situation. Our players is better at the moment, really tight schedule, small squad, and nil-nil at halftime. It's not bad at all, really, really close. Second half coming up. Traficante, that's a fantastic name. Now what we do here is, I will substitute two players in, I don't think I showed you these two players, Marco Costa, he's a defensive midfielder, hard working, always good to put in later in the games, I will put him in instead of Rugani who got the yellow card, even though Rugani is so important, we will continue with Gagliani as the Misala, then also Masotto, I don't think I showed you him, Claudio Masotto, he's been doing alright, he don't, don't look fantastic, but he's only 21, and he has had some, some quite good games we'll put some fresh legs in for the last half hour of this game come on guys here is Storari Storaro with the throw in it ends up for Masotto gets it back to Anone we haven't seen Anone for the whole game and there he is that is what a striker does and that is, is what he's does, been doing all season long this was his fifth goal in the league we start with throw in Storaro for Potolano Masotto picks it up doing great right here crossing it back to Anone just hits it first time I think four out of his five goals have been first time shots Anone is so important our top scorer another throw in Masotto back to Costa Storaro trying to find a player on the other side of the pitch Costa we're moving the ball around quite fine and Chiappa we moved into the left winger Anone back to Gagliani lots of options right here Costa from midfield, great pass to Gagliani on the other midfield position. That is perfect, using some time, move the ball around and who will we substitute with the last substitution. And now I'll switch things around a little bit. We will take Anone, the goal scorer, out, get Luinetti in inside on, instead of the defensive midfield and we will go to positive. Hopefully this will help us get all the three points at the end of the match. And I have to say I've been enjoying playing FM21 this year. I'm really impressed with the game so far. I'm easy to, to please when it comes to Football Manager. But I'm really impressed so far. It's been fantastic playing some matches. This was a really tight and close top of the top clash of the league battle. No, not a lot of highlights, but here comes Pista Sestro with one. No, no, no. One, one it is. As I'm praising the game, it is one, one now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We were so close getting those three points in this battle for top positions. What do you say? What do you say? Hey, boy. It's a 1-1 one, one, isn't it? It's a 1-1 one, one late equalizer for Bista Cestro. We had them in the bag so long. Storaro wins the tackle. This must be over. Really boring top of the top class battle here. 
We got one point, it's better than nothing, but it was so close getting those three points. My, my, what a disappointment. Now we have three teams tied at 14 points, one at 13, one of 12. And Oitzit Bisonti takes the first position with 15 points now. It is so close, it is early season, a lot of things can happen and we can battle against teams like Pista Sestro at home, at, at least getting a point against them. Let me show the schedule and where we come in for episode 3, next time we will play against AC Akadensia. Our fierce rivals, it's, it is coming up and they're in 4th, we are go absolutely going to battle it out against each other for the, some of the important points. And it is at home I see, it is at home, at Cupola di Fenice. I am looking so much forward for that battle in the next episode and thank you for tuning in. Until next time, remember to subscribe to this channel, remember to ring the bell, remember all those YouTube things, you know how to handle it. Thank you for tuning in to the rise of the Fenice. Hopefully I will bag in some points until you see me next time and it will be an epic match against AC Akadensia. The battle of Akadensia. Go Fenice! Forza, Forza Finice, Forza Finice, Forza Finice. Forza Finice.